people are dead, about whom we're going to see the film today. If the members of the community have no self-control at all, the community becomes wild. If they have no concept of non-violence towards other communities, no peace can prevail in the world. If a community has no conviction in its ideals, it cannot have a mutual and cohesive purpose. Our tonight program, je vais inviter notre ambassadeur, Madame Wetira Kambodge, à venir pour l'ouverture de cette cérémonie. Distinguished ambassadors, I can see my friends from China, from Kuwait, from Lebanon, and of course the CEO of Madagascar. I'm very grateful for your presence, Swamini Umananda, and my dear friends. I'm indeed very pleased and proud to present to you here at UNESCO in this cozy setting, if I may say so, an aspect of the spiritual heritage of India that is represented by Swami Chinmayananda. Swami Chinmayananda's journey was remarkable, as was his life. A journalist, freedom fighter, seeker, and spiritual master, he spearheaded a global Hindu spiritual and cultural renaissance that popularized the religion's esoteric scriptural texts teaching them in English all across India and abroad. Through his work, the Chinmaya mission, the publications, the schools, the ashrams, the centers, and his teachings, he lives amongst us today and continues to be a source of inspiration to all his followers the world over. The movie that you will see captures some of that magic, the inquisitive journalist and the inspiring saint. And I congratulate the Chinmaya Mission France in bringing this before us. And here I must say that the inspiration for this very special evening uh, has come from Swamini Uma, who's sitting in the first row. She approached me, she came to me and she said, would you like to do something like this? And I said, absolutely, UNESCO is the house of peace. UNESCO is the house of culture, the house of heritage. And what can be a better place to introduce Swami Chinmayanand but UNESCO? So thank you for your initiative. I think that has led us to this very special evening here. I can see my good friend, the ambassador of the Vatican, the Holy See, who's here, and we welcome you in our midst. I must also tell all of you that this is Swami Chinmayananda's birth anniversary, centenary year, and this event therefore could not have been better timed at UNESCO, don't you think? Yes. And I must also tell you that last year, the government of India, the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, had released commemorative stamps on the occasion of his birth centenary. And on that occasion, I will quote the Prime Minister. He had said, we remember Swami Chinmayanand as the embodiment of Gyan, Karma, and Bhakti, which is the embodiment of knowledge, duty, and worship. I don't think there could be a better description of him than by the Prime Minister himself. So let us watch the film now, and I close with my greetings and good wishes to the Chinmaya Mission and to all of you. And also on a personal note, as we all know in this journey of life, there are many ups and many downs, sometimes more downs than ups. And the one thing that has always bolstered me and that guides me is uh, this beautiful quotation from Swami Chinmayanand, which is, and I will quote him, you are successful and creative only when you see an opportunity in every difficulty. Thank you very much.